Hey, what's going down, y'all? Listen, you guys, before you watch this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you're clicking on the notification bell so you know each and every time a new episode is released or a new video is uploaded. I'm Fitch. See you guys on the other side. Get your ass off the fence and subscribe right now. As an executive leader in business transformation, he provides counsel and guidance to leading national brands with respect to building and growing their footprint in the marketplace through social media strategies. With core competencies in human resources, business development, marketing, operations, and go-to market strategies, he spent years consulting in these areas for organizations in several industries. And guess what, guys? He's here tonight, and we're giving him the talk of the time. Peter <laughs> is here. <laughs> oh my God, what an introduction. <laughs> you go Man. big, you go big or go home, right? <laughs> you gotta go big or you gotta go home. That's the only way to do it, right? I love it. <laughs> hey man, how you doing it evening? I'm great. I, I've been looking forward to this. Uh, you jumped, you and I were on a uh, clubhouse, I guess, a few weeks ago together with uh, Mitch Jackson and, and you pinged me in behind and I thought, man, this guy's like <laughs> on it. Like, <laughs> uh, Hey man, you got to get right to it. I have learned that the best relationships are the one you build from the ground up. So. Oh, a hundred percent. I, and you did it so like, Bang. Like you just said, I, you know, I think you went with your gut, which is probably a, a you know, the best way ever, right? Like go with the emotions and you yeah. went with your emotions. I could tell you like, you didn't mess around. Straight talk, <laughs> like, straight talk, straight talking, dude. You just like, hey, man. bang, we got to get this going, right? <laughs> got to get it. One of the things was I saw what you did and I said, this is a guy that I know can help my audience scale, climb, or clear whatever fence they're sitting on as it relates to their brand, their imaging, whatever that is. And when you find someone who does just what, what the objectives of this show is, you got to get them on and you got to get them on right quick because somebody is going to snatch them up. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, so, so, uh, you had a you had a guest on that really, like I thought, was the epitome of that uh, CP. Yeah, yeah, oh, comedian CP. Man. Man. <laughs> like when he said to, like when he said, like he made he made all this all this story about all the struggle he was going through, and then all of a sudden he said, "I just got to be my real me." Yeah. And he, and that's his whole life changed. His whole show changed. Everything changed for him. And I thought, man, that guy's the epitome of figuring out that he was his brand mm. and he got, he got it. That's what I really liked about that. Yeah. You're right about that. And he helped me in more ways than one that night with that conversation, man. And I have not been the same since, uh, which is why I'm glad you here tonight. And I wanted to ask you because, you know, a lot of times, we're doing a host of things. I call that a number of activities, right. but oftentimes we don't have productivity. So mm -hmm. when it comes to people right now, whether they're on social media, whether they have a small business, middle, or they're looking to scale, whatever, how do people look at the fact that, because I think most people don't know that they are a brand. So what, what would you tell a company or a person that you're looking to work with? How to define what a brand actually is? Well, uh, it's a, it's a great question. It's loaded question. It's something that, you know, you really have to break down a lot. Um, as you know, my tagline is you are your brand. So like, I think most companies and most people I first talked to, just as you said, don't realize, you know, what they're good at. Mm -hmm. they, they just know, Oh, I'm a service. I sell this. Somebody gives me this much money and I get that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not it. That's not what you are. Like that, that's not, that's nothing, right? Like when I, the clients that I work with, even though they're either technology services or real estate, nobody's interested in that. Nobody cares about who you are, what you do. Mind you, if, if you can figure out the problem that you solve or the problem mm. that your service or product solves and can articulate that to your audience, 
that's where the whole thing comes together. That's where the that's where you find yourself. Yeah. Mm. You think, Peter, that a lot of people don't know what problem they saw, which is why they're not solving any problems? <laughs> what a great point. Absolutely. You know, I mean, there's so many people in the market. I, I've, I've said it. I've said it a long time ago. Look, the, le the playing field has never been so level, right? Mm -hmm. Anyone who's got a phone and an Internet connection, you can actually go into business. The, the thing is. What are you going to go into business with? And what are you going to do? Even if it's advice. Right. Let's face it. There's so many gurus. I hate these. That I hate that term. I hate that term. They're generally self-professed individuals who think, you know, uh, these are the 10 best ways or five best ways to do. <laughs> you know the kind, right? Like, right. Got to shut those nasty guys down. Like, like that, those, they're good for nobody, right? Like that's all there is to it. You've got to figure out something that you are really intimate with that is really passionate that you're really mm. passionate about something that you like you you do for free i say that finch if you do it for free chances are you'd have more fun at doing it chances mm. are you do more of it and chances are you'd be better at it you know in all, in mm. all cases right all right now peter i can tell you holding yourself back, so I'm gonna have to get your ass <laughs> off the fence, right? So I gotta yes, tell you this right now, Peter. So yeah. this is a show where if cussing is your thing, you can cuss here because we are FCC approved for cussing. So don't hold back. Let it out the bag. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. It's I know I know you've got good old adult content flying here. I realize that you know, it, it, and and you know what? Sometimes the word. Just it's pretty important. It's the inflection, right? It's the inflection. It's the inflection. It's when <laughs> it's when you don't just do it for the sake of doing it. It's like when you when it when it just comes together and it colors and magnifies and amplifies the point you're making, right? There you go. <laughs> there I'm you not go. holding back. I'm, I promise okay. not to hold back. <laughs> All right. There you yeah. go. No. Uh, so, so, so we, we talked about problem solving in the space in which your brand exists. And if you can solve a problem um, that puts you in a certain tier where you are now probably sought after because you solve problems and people always have problems. Right. 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 Yeah. The problem that most people have with getting their brand recognized or even knowing what it is, is they've never sat down with themselves mm. they've never fit they've never taken that introspective evaluation of themselves mm. what i do when i come to their table i'm very i'm very devout to this i come to the table with about seven simple questions and they're they they may actually sometimes sound very silly but they should never be dismissed okay because people don't often get these questions asked because they're living in a world where they think everything's magnificent and everything's fantastic. And you know, it's automated this and automated that. like nobody gives a shit about that anymore. Right now that's all they, don't. they don't like send me a real person that knows how to communicate with me. And this is the guy I'm going to do business with. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you show yourself, as being one of those guys instead of being one of those trolls right. or one of those avatars or whatever the hell they want to call themselves, then th they want to do business with you, right? Keep, right. It, keep it natural, just the way you are. Like you're wicked in that, in that, <laughs> in that, yeah, you got like natural going, like, I think it's like, it's, you know what they say, beauty is skin deep and, uh -huh. Or uh, and crazy is right through to the bone. Well, you got natural going right through to the bone. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Now, now, what a what, you say you asked them about six or seven questions. Give right. me two of those questions that you ask. Well, one of the first things I do, I want to. If I stuck you in a room with no connection to the outside world, and I just put a pen and a pad of paper in your hand, what could you start writing about? In fact, that and you wouldn't need anybody's help. 
what what is it you could start writing about? I mean, and that normally gets them thinking in a couple of different ways. Now, now I'm, I'm assuming you're giving them a little psychology because you're trying to jolt their mindset to think about things that they normally wouldn't think about. Because normally, and we see this all the time in the clubhouse, people just want to sell and pitch you on a whole bunch of stuff. I'm and, tired of that. Oh, my goodness, man. But it doesn't really get you to the core of, hey, who are you? How can you help me? And what problem you solve? Right. And the thing is, if I don't. I tell them, I don't care if it's cutting paper. I mm -hmm. don't care if it's knitting a scarf. I don't give a shit what it is you think about that you could write about. Like, do it. Go to your, go to your inner core, and figure out what it is you feel unbeatable. It's almost like your zone of genius, right? Mm -hmm. And I actually have a few, like for myself, and I. Sometimes, you know, you do have to prod people along. And sometimes I do go first. Okay. Like, so for instance, I, I fall back into, you know, into some experience that I, I'm an artist, like I'm a visual artist, right? So right. I paint and I know what it takes. I know how to build a base on a canvas and how to apply mm. on over color. And I think like, and you can't, you can't catch me out on that. I don't okay. give a shit who how great you are. I right. don't even I don't even care if you're Vincent Van Gogh yourself. <laughs> I know what the hell it takes to paint a picture. So mm -hmm. like so blow it up your butt. Like I, I'm gonna give it to you. Right. You know, and so after that they go, Oh, well, I really like, you know, usually they start saying, Oh, I really like doing this. Uh, uh, I used to do this when I was at high school and I, I was so great at it. So write about it. Tell uh. me something about it. Have a conversation with me about it. Hit hit me up with some some cool points. And you know what, Finch? In those in that exchange, out comes these really cool mm. innuendos, you know, that are associated with the individual. Right. They start telling me about what uh, what they like, what they dislike, what they mm. have a threshold for. Do you know that it's more? Do you know that it's just as important? for you to understand your thresholds as it is your power. Wow. You gotta, yeah. you gotta, you gotta know what pisses you off. I gotta, if you're my client, Finch, mm -hmm. I want to know all that. I want to know what ticks you off. Mm. Why, why are you a pain in the ass on Fridays? Ah. Like, I want to know shit like that. Right. <laughs> right. It's, it's so important <laughs> because it allows me to humanize the person. You humanize the brand because each and every one of us, I mean, even if we're, I always say, even if we're identical twins, mm -hmm. there's always something. It could be like a hair size of a hair of in your head. There's right. always some unique value that you own that nobody else can touch. And guess what? When you're gone, that, mo that, that mold's broken. That's, right. All right. It's not coming back. Right. Right. So these are the kinds of things that I like to find out about companies, about the people that work in them. Why do they work there? Why do they work there? What's so damn good about like I, I, you, you should see these conversations when I'm sitting with a <laughs> CEO and I and, and I'm arguing with them. I was like, what's so damn good about your company? Why should I even buy a, Why should I even spend a nickel on you? Right. Uh, like. I'm not being I'm not being ignorant. I want you to tell me why should I spend the money with you? Right. Why should I spend the time? Right. That, okay. So I, I would probably <laughs> say hearing that part of what you're saying, because I think that's a brilliant strategy. Um 
I got a couple questions, but let me ask this first one first. Right. Because when you're talking about amplifying, we're talking about heightening something that you already have that's pre existing and you want to project it a little further than probably what you have. 100%. In your process, in the process you just explained, right. you're trying to get them to understand their characteristics and personality within themselves so that they can actually do just that, correct? 100%. Because it's something they don't normally talk about. It's always buried below the surface. You know, you can be like, a, 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 um, like I found, like most people don't know or when they first meet me, they don't know I'm an artist because it's my self-actualized thing. It's my thing that I'm, I'm very passionate about, mm -hmm. but it's in the background of, of the business that I do. And when they find out, they go, Oh my God, that makes you somebody special to me. Right. I, I feel a connection with you. So when I find out there's a CEO who loves uh, uh, downhill skiing or he plays uh, rugby football on the weekends or like, I, I want you to bring that out because mm -hmm. I want to, I want to elevate. I want to amplify that about you so that the people that are, are listening to you and, and, and are, exchanging conversations with you realize you're not this stuck up SOB that's, <laughs> that's making, that's making millions of bucks behind this big tall building. I mean, come on. Companies are not buildings. Mm -hmm. Companies are the people. I mean, we prove ourselves right now. We're all working from home. Are you trying to tell me that the skyscraper downtown uh, Cal uh, uh, Los Angeles is a, is a company? It's right. not a company. There's nobody in there now. <laughs> right. They're, <at> home. <laughs> <laughs> they're home. So the company is the essence of the people. And it right. starts with the vision of the CEO. But that CEO is just a guy or right. a girl. They just right. do normal things. They eat. They brush their teeth. You know, they, they go for a drive. They got have, they have kids. They do all that. Like, come on, get mm. natural. Bring that forward. Show people that you are a people people, first of all. And by the way, I have this great company. Right. right. But it's, it's about serving people like us. That's right. Simple. That's simple. So, so give me three secrets or three recipes that you give people to help them amplify their brand believe it or not dumb down your story like don't i mean you know what people get to know you and become familiar with you because of repetition mm. and when you if you are diligent and you go to market every day i don't care whether it's on linkedin or on twitter or on instagram or on facebook Go every day, visit every day, say hello, mm -hmm. introduce yourself, interact with someone. All of a sudden, believe it or not, you are slowly turning up the dial of the amplifier. You are okay. actually going, eh, eh, eh. and like, because it's like what it's, it's, it's almost like Chinese water torture, you know, it's like drip, drip. <laughs> you know, you got this thing, it's going. Okay, Scott. Oh, Finch is here. Finch is here. Finch is here. Finch. Hey, I'm, and even if they don't know you, they go, yeah, I've seen that Finch guy. Yeah, he's all over the map, right? They don't even know what they're, they don't even know what they're talking about. They just know that they've seen you. And right. They, and that something, something interesting happens when Finch goes live, right? <laughs> right. That's it. That's okay. one. That's one. So baby steps, keep it simple. Always say normal things. Try not to speak in corporate bullshit or, <laughs> or like, you know, you know, or, or, or acronyms. Like the only people that know the acronyms that are, are the people inside your business. Right. And right. the only reason that's there is because it's a way of you guys connecting with one another, okay. not the outside world. You know, so if you're going to go, uh, uh, you know, I'm a specialist in B2B marketing and, like, and, and you know, there's somebody going to be sitting out there going B2B. What yeah. the hell is B2B? Right. Exactly. Like, stop giving me this bullshit. Like, tell me what you're doing. 
It's businesses selling to businesses. What's wrong with using that language, right? <laughs> like, don't you understand it? Like, and then if you understand it, oh, well, that's quite different than businesses to consumers. Mm. Oh, all right. So I, you don't just sell to anyone. You sell to companies who have clients themselves. True. And how beautiful is that when this person, when you haven't insulted their intelligence and you've actually said something like that? Right. I mean, how beautiful is that? That's good. Right. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. <laughs> that is good stuff. Now, now, I want you to tell the listening audience uh, real fast. How did you get started in this arena? What, what about your life said, you know what? Mm. I want to help people amplify their brands. Was it a case where you felt like your brand wasn't where it needed to be? And then you raised yourself up and amplified yourself. And then you say, oh, let me, this is a problem I can solve. Let me help other people. Well, uh, uh, here's, here's the, uh, here's the big confession. There's people, people, uh, I, I always get that. I always, they all figure me out wrong. I'm not even a marketing guy. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not a market. I'm the furthest thing from a marketing guy. I grew up in business operations and business development. The thing is, about 11 or 12 years ago, the cold calls stopped working. Right? Ah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like, hey, John, I got, uh, you know, I got this, I got that, I got this, I got, oh, shut up. You know, like, you know, it was a <laughs> right. The dialing for dollars thing just doesn't, it wasn't working, right? So mm -hmm. I thought, you know, for me, I'm saying, I got to tease these guys. I got to draw these guys in. I'm tired of sitting all day on the phone making right. cold calls. Now, there's time for cold calls, but not as much today. Today, you have to give. You got to send out messages. You got to send out branding. You got to send out your mission. You got to send out your, tell them what you're all about. Mm -hmm. And and then do the listening part for, for how they interact with you online. When somebody likes you, I mean, jump all over the son of a gun. Like, mm. hey, thanks for liking me. What did you like about it? All of a sudden you start, guess what? You're engaging. A lot of people just push shit out every day. I'm so tired of that, right? <laughs> push it, push, like I'm thinking, oh my God, this is like, this is like an anemone. I'm just getting stuff shoved up my ass all day. <laughs> like it's so crazy. I just can't tolerate this stuff, right? No, when somebody says, hey, Peter, I like that. Oh, I'm telling you, man, I'm over them like white on rice. Like I'm going in, I gotta say, hey, John, what did you like about that? Right. Like, like, what was it that hit you up? Like, not enough of, of us do that. We all want to do the push. Yeah. You just don't want to pull. Right. Don't want to pull. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. Yeah. All right. All right. So, Peter, if, if people want to connect with you online, how can they do that? I am all over the map. Uh, I, I spend my business, my business day is spent on LinkedIn. And you can, I'm, I'm wildly there. Uh, I have a very active Twitter account at Arts and Clouds. Um, I have an Instagram account, um, PGG Art Envy. And uh, I'm really easy to get a hold of, even if you just wanted to send me, hit me up with an email to PeterG at youareyourbrand.ca. I mean, I take conversations. I take, I take questions. I take I do all kinds of help because I actually, I actually do some mentoring too uh, okay. for, for young people that, you know, are, are struggling. And now's a good time for actually that service to be of any value because there are a lot of people struggling. At this that time. is true. Yeah. Well, thank you, Peter, for sitting down with me, man, and having a dope conversation. I learned quite a bit, man. You are a dope dude, man. So let's hang out again sometime. Cheers. Yo, 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 yo. You're in the mix. The world's finest, man. DJ. Now. Have the radio on the telly.